What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video and with Wimbledon just around the corner I thought we'd go through the top 10 players to watch out for for the women's draw the ladies draw for Wimbledon There are some big names playing. We haven't had much of a grass court season So it's very hard to pick who's actually in form But there are some players that are playing really well and some players that over the time have been very very good on grass Let's get to the list. So in no particular order Let's start with the first player who I think everybody should be watching out for during Wimbledon and it's the Russian player Ludmila Samsonova. She's number 63 in the world so she will be unseated going into Wimbledon and a lot of us probably didn't know who she was three weeks ago but in the last couple of weeks she has put together some big impressive wins and she's also won a title. She won the German Open which is a WTA 500 event as a qualifier so she went through that draw as a qualifier, won the whole thing, beating Azarenka and Bencic along the way. So some really good wins there as well. Also, as I said, she's number 63 in the world. That is a career high ranking for her. So she is at her best right now. And this will actually be her first time playing in the main draw of Wimbledon. She did play qualifiers a couple of years ago, but she's never played a main draw at Wimbledon. And with the confidence of that WTA 500 win, she will be a very dangerous unseated player to watch out for. Second player on my list is Daria Kazakina. She's number 34 in the world. And because of some of the players that have pulled out ahead of of her she will actually be seated at Wimbledon this year and she's been in really good form in 2021 she's made the final of Birmingham that was only a couple of weeks ago eventually losing to Jabor but this week she's actually beaten the world number nine Igis Fiontek who a lot of people think at Wimbledon is a real contender so she's got a big win over a contender for Wimbledon in beating Fiontek this week and she also made the quarterfinals of Wimbledon back in 2018 so she's got some good memories at this event she seems to just be getting her form in she's also won a couple of titles this year so she is feeling really good in 2021 so watch out for her. Next player to watch out for is a former champion, Petra Gavidova. Got to watch out for her. She's currently number 12 in the world and currently playing a tournament this week. So by the time this video goes out, she might have won that tournament, which means she'd be even more of a player to watch out for. But she's a two-time former champion. She won the title at Wimbledon back in 2011 and 2014. Also made the quarterfinals or better five years in a row at Wimbledon from 2010 to 2014. So she made the quarterfinals or better. She obviously won a couple of titles during that time too throughout those five years. So she's definitely loving playing here. And she has some big wins on the grass courts against Wozniacki, Azarenka, Sharapova, Venus Williams, and Ash Barty. So it's a place she loves playing. She's a two-time former champion, so you've got to watch out for Kvitova. Next player to watch out for is Coco Goff. World number 23 at the moment. Really broke out at Wimbledon in 2019 as a qualifier. She made the fourth round. A lot of people didn't know really who Coco Goff was before that. Came through qualifying and then all the way to the fourth round, eventually losing to Simona Halep, who was the eventual champion in 2019. But she also beat Venus Williams along the way. So remember that. There's a lot of hype behind Coco Goff during that Wimbledon tournament. So she's got some good memories. And she's also at a career high ranking, great form, and coming off her first quarterfinal at the Grand Slam at the French Open a couple of weeks ago. So Coco, she's feeling good and she will be very dangerous at Wimbledon in 2021. The next person on my list is Rabakina. So we did watch Rabakina a little bit at the French Open. She beat Serena Williams there on the clay courts. She's currently 21 in the world. And this will actually be her first time playing a main draw at Wimbledon because she played qualifiers a couple of years ago, but it's only been the last couple of years where she's really gone up the rankings. And in 2021, she is in great form. She's beat two top 10 players, Serena Williams, as I just mentioned, at the French Open. And she's just beaten Svetlina on the grass courts who actually made the semifinals of Wimbledon in 2019. So she's beat a player now who's played well on the grass in the past. So, so Rabakina is someone definitely to watch. And she's also coming off her first Grand Slam quarterfinal at the French Open a couple of weeks ago. So watch out for her. She's got the big game, big serve, big ground strokes. And we've seen players like Muguruza and Kvitova in the past who have that same style do well at Wimbledon in the past. So definitely watch out for Rabakina. The next player to watch out for is the defending champion, Simona Halep. She's currently world number three. She'll be number two seeded because Osaka is not playing in this tournament. But we haven't seen Halep since injuring her calf muscle in May at Rome a couple of months ago now. So we haven't actually seen Halep on the grass course. She pulled out of events this week as well not to play before Wimbledon. So there will be an injury cloud to watch out for. But as the defending champion, she has some big wins as well on the grass courts. She's beaten Azarenka on the grass, Bencic, Svetolina, and of course she destroyed Serena Williams in the final of Wimbledon a couple of years ago. So she loved playing at Wimbledon. The pressure of being the defending champ will be an issue and also the injuries. How well will she play? Definitely got to watch out for her, though, because when she plays well on the grass, we saw in 2019, she can destroy anybody. Next player on my list is the world number one, Ash Barty, former junior Wimbledon champion. Back in 2011, she won the junior title, but she's also won a couple of titles on the grass as well in Nottingham and Birmingham 
over her career. So she likes playing on the grass. She is an all-court player as well. So she has the slice backhand. She's got the volleys. And remember, 25 years ago, serve and volley tennis was what won Wimbledon. Pete Sampras, for example. So Ash Barty has that variety that can really damage players on the grass. And she showed that back in 2019 when she made the fourth round as world number one. So if she gets a good draw, and also if she stays healthy, Barty can definitely do some damage at Wimbledon this year. Next player to watch out for is an obvious one. Serena Williams, the current world number eight. She's won Wimbledon seven times before. In 2002, 2003, 2009, 2010, 2012, 2015, and 2016. And her last four appearances at Wimbledon, she's actually made the final. Made the final back in 2019, also in 2018, and then won the title back in 15 and 16. So she is in great form at Wimbledon over the last four years. Not only that, but in her career, the 19 times she's played Wimbledon, she's made the quarterfinals or better 14 out of those 19 times. So Serena doesn't lose early at Wimbledon. She makes the second week more times than not. And not only that, she goes deep in these tournaments as well. And of course, wins the tournament seven out of the 19 times she's played it. She is definitely a contender at every single Wimbledon tournament. Doesn't matter her age, fast courts, her game suited to Wimbledon. 100% watch out for Serena. She could even win this title. Next player to watch out for is Iga Spiontek. Now, a lot of people have seen her on the clay courts. And we've seen her on the clay courts and the hard courts this year. Been very, very impressive. But some of you might not know that she actually won Junior Wimbledon back in 2018. So she won her first big title on the grass courts at Wimbledon. So she's definitely someone to watch out for during this tournament. And she's also at a career high number nine in the world. Top 10 appearance after playing so well on the clay courts during the season. She really hasn't had a chance to play the main draw. She played the main draw back in 2019, losing to Golubic in the first round. So this will be the first time where she's really going to be someone under the spotlight at Wimbledon. And like I said, a former junior champion and also a French Open champion now. Really interested to see how Spiontek can use her aggressive game on the fast courts at Wimbledon. And the last player to watch out for during Wimbledon 2021 is Victoria Azarenka, the number 14 in the world. She's made two semifinals at Wimbledon over her career, 2011, 2012, losing to Kvitova and Serena Williams, both who went on to win the title. So she lost to the eventual champion. She also got a bronze medal at the London 2012 Olympics, which was at Wimbledon on the grass. So she does love playing at this venue, but it's not only just her career form, it's her recent form as well. She made the semifinals of the German Open in the singles, and she actually won the doubles of that event with Sabalenka. And currently, she's actually playing another tournament in Germany and doing well there as well. So by the time this video comes out, she could have won another title on the grass, which then again makes her another player everybody must watch. So Victoria Azarenka, definitely somebody to watch out for during the Wimbledon tournament in 2021. So those are the 10 players that I am looking forward to watching on the WTA for the women's event, of course, for Wimbledon, which starts in a couple of days time. We don't have the draw out yet, so we don't know who these players are gonna be playing, what their draw is gonna look like, but I'm very excited to watch all these players. Let me know down in the comments below. Is there anybody I missed? Is there anybody you're looking forward to maybe on dress? You, maybe some other top 10 player. I know Benchich has been in some form as well. Svetolina's not bad on the grass, but let me know down in the comments below. Is there anyone I missed or anyone you're really looking forward to watching on the WTA during Wimbledon in 2021? So there's 10 players that you should be watching out for on the ladies event for Wimbledon in 2021. Starts next week.